The Indian government is one step closer to its very own Aramco movement. Yes, that's what we're calling it here at Bunny Control. Remember Saudi Aramco? The oil major owned by the state government of uh, Saudi Arabia, which floated a whopping $26 billion IPO. That was back in 2019, back then the world's biggest ever IPO. Well, something colossal is also brewing back in India. We are given to understand that state-owned insurance Behemoth Life Insurance Corporation of India or LIC has finally filed its DRHP or Draft Red Herring Prospectus with market regulator SEBI for a big bang IPO before the end of March 2022. Yes, this IPO is likely to be the biggest ever IPO in the history of the Indian capital markets. This is going to be a record shattering IPO going by all early indications. Remember, the early record was held by fintech major Paytm back in November. Paytm, of course, broke the Coal India record. Coal India had held the record for many, many years. So those are the sweepstakes as far as the quantum of these mega IPOs are concerned. So what are the details that we have picked up from the DRHP of LIC? Well, for starters, the government owns 100% in LIC. So it's a pure OFS offer for sale. There is There are, no, there, there, there are going to be no issue of fresh stock. So it's a pure 100% OFS, around 31.6% uh, crore shares are going to be on offer as part of this OFS and that represents 5% of the government's stake. So there is going to be an equity dilution of 5% as far as the government is concerned. Importantly, there is no mention of any valuation or the final size of the IPO and that's because we are given to understand that discussions with investors are still going on. There are a whole host of global investors sovereign funds, pension funds, some of the uh, biggest institutional investors that are in talks with the Indian government, those talks are yet to be finalized. So therefore, the DRHP is silent on the size or the valuation of the IPO. However, one very important aspect has definitely been included in the DRHP of LIC and that is the embedded value. Now, what's an embedded value? The embedded value is a valuation metric that is used usually in the case of life insurance companies. And in the case of LIC, the embedded value as of 13th September 2021 is around 5.39 lakh crore rupees. Now, why is the embedded value important? The embedded value is important because as the Deepam secretary recently uh, pointed out, the enterprise value of LIC will be a few multiples of this embedded value. So therefore, it will be interesting to see going ahead how many times X of this embedded value is the final frozen valuation. So that's something that uh, one needs uh, to keep in mind. Uh, if you look at the entire scenario right now, LIC is a clear, clear uh, dominant player, but uh, there are skeptics who point out that it has ceded some market share to some of its private sector rivals. There are also concerns that what if post-listing LIC is again used uh, you know, by the government uh, as a bailout tool of sorts. We've all seen it happening in the past. So those are certain concerns on the street, but this is a clear, clear dominant player uh, in the market. Uh, as far as uh, new business premiums are concerned, it has a market share of a whopping around 66% millions of agents, several million policies, and it's present across various segments. So it all augurs well uh, for the government. Now, most importantly, uh, we have to keep in mind when is the IPO likely to be launched. The IPO we're given to understand is likely to be launched post the approval of SEBI sometime in mid-March or late March. Why is it important? It's important because the LIC IPO is being seen as a mechanism to help the government meet its revised disinvestment target. So that's something that one needs to really keep in mind. Uh, and that is why this IPO is being looked at uh, by the government really, really closely. Not only that, the LIC IPO is also likely to in fact uh, bring in a whole new legion of retail investors, including policyholders. Well, talking about policyholders, uh, talking about uh, employees, you know, there is a 10% reservation uh, up to uh, up to 10% in fact uh, for LIC policyholders and up to 5% for eligible employees of LIC. Any talk of any discounts at this point of time cannot be entertained because these are factors that will be in fact looked at at a later stage. So those are the details that we have at this point in time and uh, clearly if one way uh, to look at this IPO, it will mark a turning point in the history of the Indian capital markets. 
Uh, in fact, uh, one one line stood out for me in the DRHP, and that was our promoter is the President of India acting through the Ministry of Finance, Government of India. So there you go. Those are the details that we have at this point in time. All eyes now on the Big Bang launch in March.